Unit IV Forex Management and current derivatives objectives of Unit IV To give broader understanding of the Forex and main issues of Forex Management, this unit gives student an understanding of the various exchange rate and contracts in exchange market. The main objectives of this unit are to provide an overview of various exchange rates, to analyze the principal types of merchant rates, to analyze exchange contract and execution of forward contract, to evaluate the role of interbank in exchange dealings. Unit IV Instructor Number 1. Introduction 1.1 Meaning of Foreign Exchange Market 1.2 Meaning of Rate of Exchange and Exchange Rate under different monetary standard 1.3 participant in foreign exchange market 1.4 quotation in the interbank market 1.5 meaning of ready spot and forward transaction 1.6 meanings and factors of forward margin swap points 1.7 factors determining spot exchange rate 1.8 Principal Types of Ready Merchant Rates 1.9 Ready Rates Based on Cross Rates 1.10 Forward Exchange Contract 1.11 Execution of Forward Contract 1.12 Cancellation and Extension of Forward Contract 1.13 Exchange Dealings 1.14 Interbank Deals 1.15 Forex Risk Management 1.16 Summary 1.17 Self-Assessment Question Number 1. Introduction Foreign Exchange Report to the Mechanism by which the currency of one country gets converted into the currency of another country. The term foreign exchange broadly speaking includes by deposits denominate in a foreign currency, foreign currency itself, bills and coins. And other terms claim on foreigners expressed in foreign currency. For an Indian, foreign currency means any currency other than Indian currency as per the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act of India. Foreign exchange means foreign currency and includes all deposits, credits, and sequest letters or credit and bills of exchange express or drawn in India's currency but payable in any foreign currency and any instrument payable at the option of the drawee or holder thereof or any other party thereto either in Indian currency or in foreign currency or partly in one and partly in the other the foreign exchange market is a market where money denominate in one currency is traded with money denominate in another currency. The need of such trading arises due to the buying selling of goods, services rendered to foreigners investment in short term and long term, securities across the international boundaries, foreign bilateral and multilateral assistance edge the primary function of the foreign exchange market is to facilitate trade between different countries and to enable investment being made by one country another therefore knowledge of foreign exchange market operation and mechanism is necessary for any fundamental understanding of international financial management this unit considered trade on the major issues of foreign forex management namely meaning and operation of foreign exchange market forward exchange and spot exchange rate forward exchange contract and execution dealing position in exchange market interbank dealings and risks in forex deals dealings 1.1 meaning of foreign exchange market in this section we shall study about meaning of foreign exchange market the foreign exchange market is not confined to an any given country or region. There is no physical place where the participant meet to execute the deals as we see in the case of commodity markets or stock exchange market. It is more an informal arrangement among the bank and the brokers operating in a financial center for casing and selling currencies connected to each other by telecommunication like telex, telephone, and satellite communication network called SWIFT, which is 
abbreviation for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. Since it is a cooperative society, it is called Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications SWIP. This society is owned by about 250 banks in Europe and North America and registered as a cooperative in society in Brazil, Belgium. It has got communication network at the international field connecting more than 25,000 financial institutions throughout the world. Each bank is a lot and identifier code. This system enables the member bank to transact among themselves very quickly and make international payment. Actually, transmission of messages take only few seconds. In India, the region processing center is at Mumbai with improvements in telecommunication system. The foreign exchange market in the world has witnessed phenomenal expansion during the last two de decades. The transaction between Mumbai, New York, Tokyo, London, and Bonn can be carried out in a few seconds. The foreign exchange market is the largest financial market with a daily turnover of around two trillion US dollar. The wholesale segment of the market refers to the dealings taking place among the banks. The retail segment refers to the dealing between the banks and the customer. The largest exchange market is London, followed by New York. Tokyo, Schuritz, Frankfurt, in India, the lady leading foreign exchange market is Mumbai and Calcutta, Chennai, Delhi, and other centers for foreign exchange dealing. Recently, Bangalore, Cochin, Ahmedabad, and Goa have also emerged as new center of foreign exchange market. 1.2 Meaning of rate of exchange the term rate of exchange expresses the price of one currency in term of another. Thus, it indicates the exchange ratio between the current choice of two countries. Suppose, for example, one Indian rupee is equal to 13 USA cent. This implies that in the exchange market, one Indian rupee will fetch 13 cent. Just as the price of a commodity is determined by its demand and supply condition, the price of a foreign currency, the rate of an exchange is also determined on the basis of demand and supply of the currency. In fact, the rate and exchange of a currency will keep on changing in the foreign exchange market due to changes in demand and supply condition of the currency. In this section, we shall study about exchange rate barriers under different monetary standard rate of exchange under the gold standard under the gold standard the monetary authorities are com commit to a policy of converting gold into currency and currency into gold this means the buying and selling of gold at a specified fixed price in unlimited quantities will be allowed if two countries are on the gold standard, the rate of exchange between the two currencies concerned will be fixed on the basis of a power value. This means that the monetary authorities would first establish gold value of the current country's monetary unit. This is called far value of the currency. Buying and selling of gold will be allowed between the two countries. This will establish parts of exchange. The rate of at which the currency unit of one country will exchange for the currency unit of the underworld depend upon the quantity and purity of the gold represented by each. The ratio between the quantity of gold represented by the two unit is termed as the mean power of exchange, mean parity, mean power of exchange. Mean parity is defined as the exact equivalent of the currency unit of one country expressed in the term of currency unit of another base upon the weight and fineness of the metal contained in two coins according to the respective mint regulation. The mean power of exchange hands expresses the number of units of one currency which should legally contain the same amount of pure metal as does legally a given number of units of another currency rate of exchange under managed paper standard when the two countries are on in convertible paper standard there is no link with any metal gold or silver as such the rate of exchange is determined on the basis of demand and supply of foreign currencies the exact rate of exchange is mainly influenced by their forecasting power parity the forecasting power parity theory is associated with Swedish 
economist Gustav Kassel, the theory states that where the exchange rate between two countries is free to move without limit, it tends to approximate to the point where each currency will buy as many goods in the other country's market as in its own home market. This can be briefly illustrated by means of an example. Suppose a bale of a cotton is sold for RS500 in India, price in the home market. And the same bale of cotton is sold for $10 in USA markets. Then the rates of exchange between rupee and dollar will be 50 rupees for a dollar. Ignoring transport costs, this forecasing power parity theory is defective in several aspects. A. Price in the home market depends upon price level internally, which be affected by the inflationary condition in the economy. B. Different types of goods enter to the international trade to find the rate of exchange will be impossible. C. The theory wrongly assumed that the changes in price level induce changes in the exchange rate. In fact, it is the exchange rate that influences the, the price level. D. The theory does not consider the demand for foreign exchange reciprocal demand for commodities capital movement edge, which will affect the exchange rate. Rates of exchange under exchange control. The, the term exchange control refers to the regulation of transactions involving foreign exchange to relieve pressure on the exchange value of a particular currency. The, the exchange control may take any form. In the most extreme form, it involves maintaining for an in, indefinite period an artificial value of the currency. This will be entrusted with the central bank authority which will administer the exchange control legislation in such a situation the rate of exchange is not determined on the basis of demand and supply forces by its fixed arbitrarily by the central authorities to maintain that the rate all the citizens of the country are compelled to surrender foreign exchange to the central authorities at specify rates and then the proceeds will be rationed among those who are in need of foreign exchange on the basis of priorities. 1.3. Participants in foreign exchange market. The following institution participant in the foreign exchange market. A. Corporates. A. Commercial banks. B. Exchange brokers. And C. Central banks. Big businesses houses. International investor and multinational corporation may operate in the foreign exchange market. Either for meeting their genuine trade requirements or investment or for purposes of speculation, they may be buy or sell current choice with a view to speculate within the framework of a foreign exchange regulation. Commercial bank are major operators in the foreign exchange market. They buy and sell current choice on behalf of their customer. They can also operate on their own initiative. Of transaction involving large volumes, bank may deal directly among themselves. For a smaller transaction, the help of exchange broker may be sold. Exchange broker also facilitate deal between banks in India. Many deal directly or through recognized exchange broker. A credit exchange broker are permit to contract exchange business on behalf of authorized dealers in foreign exchange and this exchange broker will have to conform to the rates, rules and regulation and condition laid down by the FIDAL. Regarding central bank of a country, the intervention will be very rare in the foreign exchange market. The central bank will intervene just to influence the foreign exchange rate. In India, the Reserve Bank of India does not enter into the market in the ordinary course. When exchange rates are moving in a detrimental way due to a precedent, speculative activities, the RBI may intervene in the market either directly or through the State Bank of India. 1.4 Quotation in the interbank market Generally, a dealer in the interbank market will not reveal whether he is going to buy or sell the foreign exchange. Hence, in the market, the quotation made will be two-way quotation. 
This means the market maker will indicate two prices. One price is for buying the currency and the other price for selling the currency. For example, a Mumbai bank may quote the rate of dollar as followed USD1 equals 49.1625 to 1750. What does this mean? The market maker is willing to buy foreign exchange US dollar at the rate of 49.1625 rupees and he is willing to sell at the rate of 49.1750 rupees per dollar. In actual practice, while quoting, they will not give the whole number RS49 as every operator will be known the big number hence. The quotation will be as followed USD1 equals 1625 to 1750. From this, it is the evident that he market maker wants to make a profit of RS 0 0.0125 in the deal of buying and selling one dollar. This quotation is a direct quotation and the bank will apply the rule by low sell high. In indirect quotation, the Mumbai market maker will quote the rate of dollar as followed RS 100 equals USD 2.7762 to 0767. In indirect quotation, the quantity of foreign currency is state in terms of per unit of home currency. In this case, the market maker will receive 2.0767 USD per RS 100 while buying dollars and give away 2.0762 USD per RS 100 while selling dollar. Therefore, he will apply the principle in indirect quotation by high sell low the banker while dealing with the customer will apply the same principle as note earlier by adding exchange margin the buying rate is generally known as bid rate and the selling rate is known as offer rate the difference between these two rates are gross profit for the bank and is known as the spread 1.5 meaning of the ready spot and forward transaction in this case of foreign exchange there is the element of time between striking the deal and transaction of the actual deal. The transaction in the interbank market take for the settlement either A. On the same day itself or B. It make two days later or C. It may take a longer time say after month or two. Based on the nature of deal, the following are the three transactions are estimate ready transaction in cases where the agreement to buy and sell the foreign exchange takes Place in actual settlement is finished. Delivery of foreign. Exchange in the receipt of the price. Exchange transaction proper is complete. On that day itself, it is called ready transaction. It is also known as value today. Spot transaction. In some transaction, the deal will be struck by the actual exchange. Scoring choice will take place, say, after two days from date of contract. This type of transaction is known as spot transaction, for example. If the contract for a certain amount of foreign exchange is made on a grid rate, say on Monday, the actual delivery completion of transaction will take place on Wednesday. If that day happens to be holiday, the delivery will take place on the very next day, Thursday. It is on this day the contract is fulfilled by paying rupees and receiving dollars or vice versa. Forward transaction, on the other hand, the deal will be struck on a particular day wherein the rate will be agreed upon but the actual transaction will take place at a specified future date this is called forward transaction the forward transaction may be for one month two months or even three months this means the actual contract will take place on a particular day this forward contract for delivery of current choice will take place after one month two months or three months decided according to the contract 1.6 meaning and factors of the forward margin swap point since the foreign exchange rate will fluctuation in spot rate of the currency will not be the same at a future date after one month or so if the forward rate and spot rate happen to be the same then it's called at the far that forward rate at far with spot this will be vary the rate in foreign exchange transaction unless the current choice in question are steady and stable 
for a pretty long time, generally the forward rate of a currency will be cost higher or cheaper than spot rate. The difference between the spot rate and the forward rate is known as forward mar margin, otherwise called swap points. The forward margin may be either at premium or at discount. In the former case, the forward rates will be cheaper than the spot rate. Under direct quotation, premium is added to spot rate to arrive at the forward rate. This is done for both for case and sale transaction. Discount is deducted from the spot rate to arrive at forward rate. Factors determining forward margin in this section, we shall briefly study about the factors that determine the forward margin. Rate of interest. The prevailing rates of interest at home and also in the foreign country from which we want to get foreign exchange decided the forward margin. To put it shortly, it depends upon the differences in the rate of interest prevailing at the home center and the concerned foreign center. If the rate of interest at the foreign center is higher than the rate of interest prevailing at home center, naturally, the interest gained by investing in the foreign center will be more than the interest gained at home center. If the rate of interest at the foreign center is higher than the home center, the forward margin would be at discount. Conversely, the rate of interest is lowered in the foreign center and higher in the home center, the forward margin would be premium. Demand, supply foreign currency is similar at the principle of demand and supply of a commodity. If a particular foreign currency is in great demand that is supplied, then naturally it will be cost higher and it will be sold at a premium. If the supply exceeds the demand and the forward rate will be at discount investment activities. Another factor influencing forward margin will be due to the hectic activities of investment taking advantage of differences in the rate of interest between one center and another. The investor may be borrowed from low interest center and invest the amount in the higher interest center. For example, the investor may borrow at London at the rate of 5% PA and invest the amount on Chennai at 12% PA. In order to secure his position, he may cover a transaction in the forward maker. Then he will sell spot fund sterling and buying forward fund sterling. When many investors do like this, the supply of spot fund sterling increases. Abundantly putting down the price, the demand for forward fund sterling increases. Pushing up the price, speculative activities regarding spot rate, the forward rates are based on the spot rate. And a speculation in the movement of spot rate would also influence forward rates. If exchange dealers anticipate spot rate to appreciate, they will quote forward rate a premium. If they expect the spot rate to depreciate, the forward rate would be quote at a discount. Exchange regulation. Exchange control regulation may also put restriction or condition on the forward dealing leading up to change in forward margin. Such restriction may be with respect to keeping up balances abroad, borrowing overseas each if the central bank of the country intervenes in the mark forward market that will influence forward margin. 1.7 Factors Determining Spot Exchange Rate The most vital factor in foreign exchange is the determination of spot exchange rate if is on this all other activities revolve. We know that the forward margin is determined by adding premium of subtraction discount with reference to spot rate. The spot exchange rate is not determined by a single factor. It is the combination of several factors which act either concurrently or independently in determining the spot rate. Let us discuss about this factor. Balance of a study of international trade and consequence. Balance of payments and study of international trade and consequent balance of payments between countries will determine the value of currencies concern. We know that in international trade export from a country both visible and invisible. 
represent the supply sides of foreign exchange on the contrary imports into a country both visible and invisible create demand for foreign exchange let us illustrate with an example suppose india is making lot of export to usa both visible and also invisible the Indian exporter have to receive rupee payment from USA and the important merchant in USA would be offering a lot of US dollar in exchange for rupees payment to Indian merchant. Thus, there will be lot of supply of US dollar from the point of view Indian and loss of demand for Indian rupees from the point of view of USA. Thus, export represents supply of dollar demanding rupees. When there is lot of supply of dollar demanding rupees, the value of rupee will automatically go up. On the other hand, if India imports more, we have to pay dollar to USA merchant. This means we will offer lot of rupees demanding dollars. In that case, the value of dollar will go up comparative to rupees. In other words, put if differently, the exporter would offer foreign currencies in the exchange market. They had acquired and demand local currencies in exchange. Similarly, importers would offer local currency in exchange for foreign currency. When a look is continuously importing more than what it exports to the other country in the long run, the demand for the currency of the country importing would be lesser than its supply. This is an indication that the balance of payments of the country with reference to the other country is continuously at deficit. This will lead to decline of the value of the currency in relation to the other country. On the other hand, if the balance of payment of a country is continuously at surplus, it is an indication that the demand for the currency in market is higher than its supply, therefore the currency gains more value. Thus, the value of the currency depends on the balance of payment, position, inflation in the economic another. Important factor that would have serious effect in the value of currency and the exchange rate is the level of inflation in the country. More inflation means increase in the domestic prices of commodities. When commodities are priced at a higher level, export will dwindle as the price would not be competitive in the international market and the foreigners would not demand the commodities at a higher price. The decrease in export in the long run would reduce the demand of the currency of the country and the internal value of the currency would decline. Thus, if the country is under the grip of more inflation, the value of the currency will be low in the exchange market. It should be understood in this context that the value of the currency's concern will be defined on comparative inflationary rate in the two countries. Suppose the inflation in India is 20% and in USA also it's 20%, the rate between dollar and rupee will remain the same. If inflation in India is higher than USA, the rupee will depreciate in value relative to dollar. Almost all countries of the world will be experiencing inflation to a greater or lesser degrees. The inflation is a very vital factor in deciding the value of the currency. Interest rates The difference in interest rate between countries has great influence in the short-term movement of capital between countries. If the interest rate in country A increases, that country would attract short-term of funds from other countries. This will create demand of the currency of the country having higher rate of interest. Ultimately, this will lead to increase in its exchange value raising. The interest rate may also be adopted by a country deliberately to attract foreign investment to essence tight money condition. This will increase the value of the currency. This is also an an attempt to reduce the outflow of the country's currency. But this process may not sustain for long if the other country also adopts similar measures of increasing the rate of interest if country B also increases the interest rate like the of country A, there will be no change in exchange rate and the effect of country A will be nullified money supply 
Money supply is also another factor affecting the rate of exchange between countries. As increased money supply will cause inflationary condition in the economy and thereby affect the exchange rate via increase in price of exportable commodities and increase in money supply should have scope for increasing production of goods in the economy. In other words, the increase in money supply should go hand in hand with increase in the production of goods in the economy. Otherwise, the increased money supply will be utilized in the for case of foreign commodities and also making foreign investment. Thus, the supply of the currency in the foreign market increases and the value declines. The downward pressure and the ex external value of the currency will in its turn increase the cost of in import and finally it adds to inflation in the economy increased national income increase in national income of a country indicates an increase in the income of the resident of the country this increase will naturally create demand for goods in the country if there is underutilized productive capacity in the economy this demand will lead to increase in production of goods this will also lead to more export of goods in some cases, this adjustment process will take a very long time. And in some other cases, there will not be increased production at all in such cases which the production does not increase in sympathy with income rise, it may lead to increased imports and also increased supply of the currency of the country in the foreign exchange market. This result is similar to that of inflation, decline in value of the currency. Thus, increase the national income may lead to increase in investment or consumption and accordingly, it will have its effect on the exchange rate. Here also, this concept of increased national income is related to relative increase in national income between two countries and not the absolute increase in national income. Discoveries of new resource and a country in its progress of economic development may also discover new resources which are very vital for the economy. These resources are called key resources or basis, basic resources which would abundantly help the economy in the production of new goods and services also, in reducing the cost of production of existing goods and services, a country may discover oil resources which are very vital for economic development. Capital movements, right and congenial climate in a country combined with political stability will encourage portfolio investment in that country. In such cases, there will be very high demand for a current choice for those countries for proposed of movements. This higher demand will result in the increase of exchange rate of those currencies. On the other hand, poor economic outlook, instantly repatriation of investment edge will result on the increase decrease demand for the currencies of those countries, and as a result, exchange rate of those currencies will fall. Speculation and psychological factors. The speculation may take the form of ball, for casing heavily, expecting a rise in price, or it may tail the form of bear, selling heavily, expecting a fall in price. It may also take the form of leads and logs, changing the time of settlement of debts with a view to getting advantage of the changes exchange rate, arbitrates. Operations are also undertaken by the speculation at take advantage of difference in two markets. This will cause movements in exchange rate in both markets till a level is reached. Finally, political stability of the country is of very vital factor. Investors will not be interested in countries which are ravaged with frequent war on political rebellion, frequent election, frequent change of government, Frequent changes of policies of the government, lack of political will on the part of government, will detract the investor and the currency of the country may not enjoy high value. 1.8. Principal types of ready merchant rates. The foreign exchange dealing of a bank with its customer is known as merchant business and exchange rate at which the transaction takes place as the merchant rate. 
The merchant business in which the contract with the customer to buy or sell foreign exchange is agreed to and execute on the same day is known as ready transaction or cost transaction. As in this case of interbank transactions, a value next day contract is deliverable on the next business day and spot contract is deliverable on the second succeeding business day following the date of the contract. In this section, we focus on principal types of buying as well as selling rates. Principal types of buying rates. In a forecast transaction, the bank acquires foreign exchange from the customer and pay him in Indian rupees. Some of the forecast transactions result in the bank acquiring foreign exchange immediately. While some involve daily and acquisition foreign exchange depending upon the time of realization of Foreign exchange by the bank. Tau types of buying rates are called in India. There are TT buying rates and bill buying rates. TT buying rate is TT stand for telegraphic transfer. This is the rate apply when the transaction does not involve any delay in realization of the foreign exchange by bank. In other words, the Nostra account of the bank will already have been created. The rate is calculated by deducting from the interbank buying rate the exchange margin as determined by the bank. Though the name implies telegraphic transfer, it is not necessary that the proceeds of the transaction are received by telegram. Any transaction where no delay is involved in the bank acquiring the foreign exchange will be done at TT rate. Transaction where TT rate is applied are payment of demand drops, mail transfer, telegraphic transfer, etc. Drawn on the bank, bank's nostro account is already credit. Foreign bills collected. When a foreign bill is taken for collection, the bank pays the exporter only when the importer pays for the bill and the bank's nostro account abroad is credit. Cancellation of foreign exchange sold earlier. Bill buying rate. This is the rate of B apply when a foreign bill is for case. When a bill is for case, the rupee equivalent of the bill value is paid to the exporter immediately. However, the proceeds will be realized by the bank after the bill is present to the drawee at overseas center. In the case of usual bill, the proceeds will be realized in the due date of the bill, which include the Francis period and the usual period of the bill, principal types of selling rates. When bank sells foreign exchange, it receives Indian rupees from the customer and parts will foreign currency. The sale is affected by issuing a payment. Instrument on a correspondent bank with which maintains the Nostra account immediately on sale, the bank buy the requisite foreign exchange from the market and get its Nostra account credit with the amount so that when the payment instrument issued by it is presented to the correspondent bank and it can be honored by David to the Nostra account. Therefore, for all sales on ready spot basis to the customer, the bank resorts to the interbank market immediately and the base rate is interbank spot selling rate however depending upon the work involved bills whether the safe involves handling of documents by the bank or not two types of selling rates are called in india there are tt selling rate and bills selling rate tt selling rate this is the rate to be used for all transactions that do not involve handling of document by the bank Transaction for which this rate is called are issue of demand drops, mail transfers, telegraphic transfer, it's other than for retirement of an import bill. And cancellation of foreign exchange forecast earlier, the TT selling rate is calculated on the base of interbank selling rate. The rate to the customer is calculated by adding exchange margin to the interbank rate.